Hey everybody, God bless. Thank you for watching. I hope you continue to watch this. Um, had a uh, trip to the doctor yesterday. My knee's a little better. So thanks for praying. Um, uh, they're going to explore some other things that are going on with it. So uh, either way, uh, I pray about it every night. The swelling's gone down significantly. So uh, thanks a lot. Anyway, so let's continue on. Uh, I just want to do a quick review. Um, there's a lot of information. It's it's a big topic. It's uh, it's a very taboo topic, um, but um, I think we can get through this together, okay? All right, so quick review. We know the Hebrew word for seed is zera, uh, H2233, which means to sow, produce, become pregnant, to be made pregnant with child. Uh, Daniel 2.43, the word seed is used, and it's uh, H2234. It's the only place where this is used, zera meaning posterity, which is the future seed, the future um, future people. Um, God emphasizes strongly that he made everything after their kind. And that's very significant in, in his creation, talking about the whales, the birds, the fowls of the air. Uh, everything was made after their kind. And that was his creation. He deemed it as good. Okay, um, It didn't become bad until we started to meddle with everything and also the fallen. Um, there are two seeds on the earth and that's Genesis 315. That's, that's irrefutable. That is, that is, that is written as it is written um, in Genesis 315. There's no denying that the Satan, there's the enemy seed and there's the woman seed. So that's where we got to find out what exactly is, is what. Um, when we Google forbidden fruit, uh, we get sexual connotations, um, and this is this isn't a proof of any by any means. But th what this does show me is Satan's control, Satan's influence, Satan's uh, um, uh, I guess stirring up the internet. All right. So when you take the forbidden fruit and when you Google that on the internet, you should ask yourself why does it come back with all these sexual connotations. And then remember whose world we're living in. Uh, the same is true for a woman hates snake. And, you know, like I tried to find like a woman screeching, you know, for a picture or whatever in front of the snake. And I couldn't find one. Every snake and woman picture I could find was more or less a woman embracing the snake, a woman loving the snake or becoming the snake. And you saw them yesterday. We don't need to pull those back up. But that should ask you, that should stir your mind as to what is being told to me. what? Why are these things coming up? Why is it when I search for something here, I get this, which is totally the opposite. Um, the very first action by Adam and Eve, all right, after the sin was they covered themselves. Uh, they became aware of their nakedness. And, and why is that? Why, did, why was that the first action? Uh, they didn't go and run and hide. Uh, well, they did, but they covered themselves first and then ran and hide. Um, they didn't pray. They, I mean, they, the first thing they did was cover themselves down there. They didn't consult with themselves. They didn't, you know, um, that was the very first action in the Bible was that they covered themselves. All right. So let's continue with, uh, the study real quick. Today, we're going to talk about fruit and fruitful. Okay. So God makes everything after their kind. Every creature that moveth after their kind was good, fruitful and multiply. Bring forth every living creature after his kind, after his kind. Man, every beast of the earth after his kind. God saw it was good. Our image, our likeness, he's talking about him and the son. Let them have dominion over this, uh, his own image. Be fruitful and multiply. And this is interesting. <laughs> Why does God say replenish? Shouldn't it just be plenish the earth? So, and, and you can get into this study. There's a very interesting chapter in Jeremiah that talks about Jeremiah saw the earth before. So, I don't know. That's that's a whole other thing. But that's a very interesting topic, I think. And it kind of gets into the gap theory. When did Satan actually fall? Um, was the earth here before? Uh, but anyway, that's, that's just, you know, something for you to do on your own. Be fruitful and multiply. Replenish the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish and the sea, fowls of the air, and everything that moves upon the earth. Be fruitful and multiply. Okay. Um, I've given you every bit which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed for you. It shall be for meat. Um, okay, so let's look at this word fruit. Okay. All right, so we're in Genesis 1, 29. 
and we have the fruit right here. Okay. Now you click on fruit. It's it's Strong's word 6509 fruit, literally or figuratively, bro, uh, or, or bro, uh, first fruit, full reward. Okay. First fruits. We know what fruit first fruits are. Um, it's the first first uh, the first part of the harvest that's ready. Uh, it's the first offering. Um, it's also you have the fruit of the spirit. So it's things that we produce. Okay, now we're going to get into a little bit. This this is just this this program this that I have. Um, we're going to actually take a look online and see what this word actually is. Sixty five, or I'm sorry, sixty five twenty nine. One thing I forgot to add, the word fruit, 6529, comes from 6509, which is be fruitful, to bring forth, to make, to be fruitful, to grow, to increase, okay? And that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at para, which is fruitful, and we're going to look at fruit, which is pri, 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 puri, puri, okay? All right, so let's look at those two words. All right, this is puri, this is fruit. Okay, 6529. Um, fruitful, fruit, bros, first fruits, reward, fruit thereof, um, biblical usage, fruit, produce, offspring, children, progeny of the womb, fruit, actions. Okay, now we're going to get into some verses where this occurs. All right, um, so let's take a look at these. And I just picked a few out at random. Um, so, you know, just there's, it's kind of interesting. I'll show you something here in a second. There's 184 usage of the word fruit in the Bible. Uh, but anyway, we'll get to that in a sec. Uh, I'm going to show you something with that. Uh, who hath withheld thee, or who hath held, who hath withheld from thee the fruit of the womb? This is an interesting phrase, fruit of the womb. Okay, this is the children, the children of the womb. This is the, what the womb produces, okay? Um, we'll get into that in a second too. All right, but let's keep going. So, uh, Exodus 21, 20, uh, two, if men strive and hurt a woman with child so that her fruit depart from her, all right, that is the child, the fruit of the womb. That's what's grown in the womb. Okay. He will also bless the fruit of the womb. He's going to bless your children, the land, the corn, the wine, the oil, the increase. Okay. Uh, thou shalt not sow thy vineyard with diverse seeds, different seeds, different groups, different types, lest the fruit of thy seed which thou hast sown and the fruit of thy vineyard be defiled. Okay, so God is showing, again, order, okay? <laughs> this group with this group, this group with that group. Don't be mixing, okay? Um, and we keep going. Uh, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. The children are the heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb his reward um their bows and this is a the prophetic uh this is isaiah this is judgment their bows shall also dash the young to pieces and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb their eye shall not spare children okay this is judgment coming all right so once again fruit of the womb okay i saw this and thought this was kind of interesting when you see or hear fruit of the womb you know what and we all know these corporations are are not run by god all right this is satan's world satan's kingdom uh he offered all the kingdoms to christ and christ turned him down and said no this isn't the time so everything that we see here or a lot of things that we see here we can deduce are being run by the spiritual realms and of course satan has dominion god's on the throne but satan is allowed certain rights and privileges here 
without getting too deep into that. But anyway, so I thought this was an interesting thing. Now, let's keep going. There's a couple other things I want to show you. Okay, so this is where it gets kind of interesting. Okay, so this is going to pick up a little bit. The word for fruitful is para, all right? And it's primitive root to bear fruit, literally fragrantly, bear, bring forth fruit, be caused to make fruitful grow and increase. Okay, this word right here is where we're going to start looking, all right, because there's a lot of neat stuff with this. Okay, this is the other, just the other strongs I have. Same thing, para, uh, to bear fruit, be fruitful, branch off, to bear fruit. All right, so to bring forth, to cause, to grow and increase. Now, what para means is pretty interesting. Let me pull up the article here. It's going to take its time. So when you do a Google search for para, the first thing that comes up, para.com, is um, a lingerie uh, website. So once again, we have another sexual connotation with be fruitful. Um, you know, through here. So anyway, uh, okay, now I'm going to read something. Um, so we know the root or the word for fruit is peri. So this lady right here on Facebook says, another interesting thing, I was a nurse's aide for 18 years, and the proper term that was taught when you go to wash a patient in the private area was called peri care. Perennial care is usually called peri care. It means washing of the genitals and anal area. Peri care can be done during a bath or as a separate procedure. Peri care prevents skin breakdown of perennial. Isn't that something? Some comparisons people use for private or offspring fruit of my loins. Uh, and that's what she says. Um, so let's look at that word perennial care. So pretty much what she just said, this is the definition of perennial cleansing procedure prescribed for the perineum after, um, yeah, we get into all the medical terms. But anyway, uh, that describes the cleansing of that area. Um, so let's keep going. There's this as well. If you look up perineum in, the, in Wikipedia, uh, we get into this, the region including the bottle, the perineal body, surrounding structures, the fruit, exactly what this is talking about. Um, you know, I don't want to get too crazy graphic here, but this is, this is exactly what, you know, the Lord is showing us, um, without showing us, uh, just as I described before, you know, you have Esther, it just, Esther portrays the picture of the bride. This scene with this free, with this tree and this fruit is pertaining to the first sin. We just have to do the homework on this. Um, and that's exactly what it's talking about. All right, we're going to stop there for now. I want to keep this video short. Um, we're going to look at the tree, and we're also going to look at um, some of the other key words. Were it pleasing to the eye? Um, where uh, he talks about sorrows and, uh, and some other stuff. But I think by now you should be getting the picture of what exactly happened in the garden. We know that the other fallen angels came down in Genesis 6. We know that God said everything should be towards its kind. Um, we know the first thing that they did was cover themselves. Now, the one question that I do have is how does Adam play into all this? Because he took the fruit as well. And I'm still praying on that. I think I have my answer. Um, but I'm going to wait, I think, and, and give that probably in the next video. Because I think it just requires a little bit of explaining from what or show me on it um, but it has to do with kind of adoption um, but we'll we'll leave it at that um, so anyway God bless I hope this information is, is good for you um, please feel free to share whatever uh, comment um, uh, but uh, you know God is once again using the Bible as symbolism and I say it all the time the Bible is is a book of symbolism so that we can understand the things that happened on this earth. It's a huge book of symbolism. And it's obviously deeper than that, but it, and generally it's, it's God's way of putting things that we wouldn't understand into a book that gives us symbolisms that we do understand to put it in 
I guess, a galactic meaning or a much larger meaning. But anyway, God bless you guys. Take care. And I'll try to get the other one up today as well.